Welcome YouTube friends. We're about to do an intermediate reformer workout today. It's a quick one, so we're gonna get started right away. I'm gonna begin with some back rowing. So I'm using one heavy spring and I'm gonna turn and face the back here. I wanna have a little room behind me because I'm gonna be rolling back and grab the straps here and I'm gonna cross my legs over the headrest. You don't have to cross them if they'll fit between the shoulder rests. Then I'm gonna take the straps in my hand here and start sitting nice and tall. Breathe in. And then as I exhale, I'm just gonna flex the spine. I'm kind of thinking of sinking down, tipping the pelvis back. And for now, I'm just gonna come back up. I'm gonna do that a couple times just to warm up the abs and the lower, and the lower back. So exhale, roll back and inhale, come back up. No tension on the straps to start. And again, exhale, flex the spine and roll back and then come back up. Now, I'm just gonna add an arm reaching out to the side. So I'm gonna roll down first, pulling the hands toward my chest. Then I open the arms to the side. I'm gonna push my arms back as I fold forward. And from here, I'm just gonna stack back up to the start. So let's do that again. So a little progression here. Exhale, roll back. Inhale, open the arms. Now I'm gonna push the arms back as I fold over my legs with my torso. And then come back up to the top. One more like that. Exhale back, open the arms. Push the arms as I flex over the legs and then come back up. Now let's add the full arm work. So roll back, open the arms, press the arms back as I fold over, then circle the arms around, bring them all the way forward to line up with my head and stack the spine back up. You're gonna start on an exhale, inhale to open, exhale to press back, inhale, start your circle, exhale, finish that circle, and inhale up again. Roll on back, open the arms, push back, fold forward, circle the arms around, try not to let the shoulders go up into the ears here, and then roll all the way up. One more, exhale back, use your abs, reach out, now really press back as you fold forward, circle around, lengthen forward, and stack all the way up to the top. All right, from there, we're gonna do a little side kneeling work. So. Come up onto your knees in the, in the center of the carriage with your knees about hip to shoulder distance apart. Still the one heavy spring, and I'm gonna get a little rotation of the spine in. So I'm starting with the strap and the hand closest to it and turned toward that strap. Then I exhale, turn to the side, and inhale, turn back. My goal is to keep my hands right in line with my sternum and my arms round. And I'm also focusing on keeping my hips square to the front and exhale and inhale back. Two more. So I'm really turning my ribs and my shoulders and my head. Now I'm going to add here. So we're going to add a little arm circle. So I'm going to bring the hands close to my chest as I turn and then I'm going to open them out as I return. Exhale, inhale, come back. Exhale, pull across the chest. Inhale, come back. Two more. There's a little variation on the spine twist, getting a little arm work in here. One more, and all the way back. Now carefully, you're gonna take the strap in the other hand. Be careful here, guys. It's really easy to lose your balance. So use your free arm as a support beam here. We're gonna do the back hand. You pull up and press out, and come back down across. Exhale, up and out. Inhale, back down across, and again. Pulling up, press it right up, and then come down across, and three more. Press, inhale down, two, right up. So the elbow leads, and then you extend right at the top. And one more here, right up, and then come back down. All right, now we're just gonna turn around and do that same thing on the other side. So starting with the regular kneeling spine twist, Hold the strap and the hand closest to it and lace your hands together. Rotate and come back. So just a few tips here. Keep the arms in the same shape as you rotate. Exhale as you turn toward the foot bar. Inhale as you return. Shoulders stay open in front and down, not up in your ears and don't turn your hips. One more like this. And now we have the arm circles. So you're gonna bring that hands close to your chest as you turn and then reach them way out away. So it's like you're stirring a big pot. 
rotate, and open back. Exhale around, inhale, return, two more. Press around, and return one more time. Right through, and come back. Now, be careful, you're gonna switch to the opposite hand now for backhand, brace your arm against your side, pull the elbow up and then extend it, and back down. Exhale as you pull up and reach. Inhale to come back down, and again. Right up, and down across. Exhale, inhale down. Last three, and bring it down. Two, and down, and one more time. Strong and powerful up, and return it with control. Okay, now from here, we're gonna bring the foot bar up for some planking work. So, foot bar comes up to the top. I'm gonna use one heavy and one light for this. You can use anywhere from one heavy to two heavy. Then, I'm gonna place my hands on the foot bar, hug that bar with your hands, and remember not to lock your elbows as you step up into this, and step right up against the shoulder rests with your feet. Get your body in one straight line from head to heel, and then press back, breathing in, and exhale, bring the shoulders above the hands. Reach back, and come forward. Now you can do this with your feet in the middle, but this is a more secure way, and come forward with your feet against the shoulder rest so you don't slip. Press back, and come forward. Two more. Inhale back, exhale forward, one more time. Pushing back, and come forward. Now, all we're gonna do is keep your feet against the shoulder rest here, and you're gonna come into a round position with your spine. We're gonna do our up stretch. So, angle the elbows slightly toward the carriage here, and start with a round spine. Then, keeping the spine there, Press the carriage out with the legs. Once you can't go any further with just your legs, lengthen your spine. You should be in this long stretch position again. And then hinge forward. Once your shoulders are above your hands, flex the spine and bring the carriage back under the start position. So let's do it in four breaths. Inhale, push the legs out. Exhale, lengthen your spine. Inhale, hinge forward. And then exhale, flex the spine and pull those feet back underneath you. Legs first, then lengthen the spine, tail to head. Now shoulders hinge you forward, and then flex from head to tail, dragging that carriage back under. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale forward, and exhale back. Let's do it two more times. Legs, and then lengthen the spine. Then hinge forward, and flex back. One more time here, press, and lengthen, hinge, and flex all the way back. Okay, so now we're gonna get a little more side work in. I'm gonna keep it on one heavy and one light, and we're gonna do a little uh, side, it's like a side plank or side long stretch, also a prep for the start. You can do this from your knees if you haven't done it before, or if you're doing it from your feet, top foot goes forward, bottom foot goes back. Find your plank position here, side plank. You're gonna inhale and press out. You can lift that top arm up and exhale back. And again, inhale to press out. And exhale back. Inhale, get your head in line with your spine. Keep your hips nice and open. And exhale back. Two more. Press out and back. And one more time. Inhale out, and exhale back. All right, now be careful bringing that carriage in. You're gonna switch hands and turn around. Top foot goes forward, bottom foot goes back. Find your plank position here. One long line, push out, breathe in, and exhale back. Again, press away, breathe in. Feel those obliques working, exhale back. And again, inhale out, and exhale back. Two more, press away, and come back. And one more time, pressing out, breathe in, 
and exhale to come back. Okay, from here, just bring your knees down and we're just gonna cool down here with a little down stretch. Just a modification of it. So, kneel on the carriage, feet against the shoulder rest, sit back toward the heels and flex your spine. From here, lengthen the spine to move the carriage out. Then press back all the way with the legs into a bow shape and just hinge forward here. And now we're just gonna sit back into the start. Let's do it again. Lengthen the spine, press back through the legs so you're in a bow shape. Now hinge forward, sternum to the sky, and then sit back into the start. One more time, just to stretch here. Lengthen, push back, hinge up, and exhale, sitting back. And that, guys, is our quick intermediate reformer workout for today. I hope you'll hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. And please check out some of the other workouts on our YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me. See you again next time. Bye.